There, I see him. I see him. There, here he comes. Here he comes. He's coming. He's coming. Stay real still. First night, it's a tremendous property, a lot of elk, and I just really want to enjoy the hunt, so we let him go. I like the pursuit of a mature bull and doing what needs to be done to harvest a mature animal. It gives me a sense of freedom, I guess, from my everyday world and my work world and have an adventure, and that's why I elk hunt. Still might come to the bottom. We don't know. Be ready to go. We gotta make a move somehow. Back in 1995, I had a good friend, a hunting buddy, um, tell me about the Elk Foundation. I really didn't know about it back then. Really emphasized the fact that, you know, without um, conservation, the elk hunting as we knew it back then may not exist in the future. And I've noticed that the Elk Foundation has really become involved in access uh, and, and making sure there's access to public lands. My son was very fortunate uh, three years ago to draw a bighorn sheep tag in North Central Montana. And it was really the Elk Foundation's access point that allowed my son and I to get into that public land, have a phenomenal hunt, and he, you know, he, he was able to harvest a, you know, just a tremendous bighorn sheep. And it was really all due to the fact that the Elk Foundation had used its funding, the funding that we provide as members, to secure that uh, public land access.
get ahead of the elk. It's gonna be a great day. I think that's the same bull we saw yesterday. Let's get in close and then maybe you can fire him up again. I'd say 65 to 70 yards, somewhere right in there. Really a bull of a lifetime. And I had told everybody going in that I really wanted my maximum range comfort zone right now on this particular hunt was about 60 yards. There have been times in my past where I could probably reach out a little farther and I might have shot at that bull. But uh, this particular year, there's been a number of things that have happened. I, I had a pretty serious back injury in August, late August, and this hunt was in jeopardy for me. These animals deserve our respect, and the last thing that I wanted to do was make a bad shot. So I chose not to shoot at that elk, and an opportunity of a lifetime for me. One of the, one of the neatest things that's ever happened to me. I mean, another 10 yards. I would have felt very comfortable. If you enjoy elk hunting and you enjoy the places that elk roam and you're not a member of the Elk Foundation, I would encourage you to first join, be a member, and then if you're already a member, I would, I would really appeal for you to try volunteering, try getting involved in your local chapter.